Alrighty, uh, this is Funny Guy Timmy uh, with the part two on green screening. Um, now, there are multiple programs that I use to do green screening. Uh, this one right here is FX Home. Uh, this is the one I'm going to be showing you. Um, uh, first, uh, start a blank project. Uh, uh, select your uh, resolution size. Um, I always set it to what my camera is set to because uh, I don't want to scale anything down. Uh, so whatever uh, you shot it in, um, set it to that because uh, otherwise it's going to come out kind of smushed or it's going to be grainy or pixelated. So, so whatever you shot the video at, um, uh, start the project and set it to that resolution. And actually I can just go ahead and show you what that is. Uh, that is it right there. Uh, that is what my camera is set to uh, uh, width uh, 1280 and height 720. Uh, yep, everything's fine. Click OK. Close this. this. Now, uh, now we open up the video. Uh, now this is actually a piece of the video that uh, from the green screen uh, video from earlier. Just drag it. And drop, you can you can drop it here or you can drop it in the timeline, and I'm just going to drop it in the timeline, or I could drop it right there. <coughs> Alrighty, now I'm going to jump a few frames ahead so you can see it. Okay, it does start out in black, so right there. Oh, doesn't he look enthusiastic? Okay, now uh, this is our green screen shot. Uh, now we are going to uh, add the key right there, chroma key. Uh, now you, again you can drag it or drop it or you can just click it and it will activate right there. There it is, it is now attached to our video. Uh, there are all the uh, characteristics. Now uh, when you're going to start editing um, go to frame one or whatever's the first um, frame of video. Okay, uh, this is actually the button to turn the effects on and off. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. Uh, you can see there's a little change right there. That's because um, the color is set to black right now. We need to set that to green. Um, so uh, grab the little uh, eyedropper, whatever thing. Who came up with that? And select the average green. Just about all the green is gone. Now you can see it's starting to cut away some of his forehead right now. We don't want that. There we go. Alrighty. Now there is this uh, green halo that I was talking about in the first video. still on him but it's not too big of a problem um, uh, sometimes it's uh, depending on what kind of background you set it on uh, could make it practically uh, unnoticeable all right uh, now I'm gonna go back to media I'm gonna pull up a video to put behind it if I can find it Drop. Now I need to move this one beneath uh, my first one. There we go. It's not looking too bad. Now uh, in FX Home, uh, it has to buffer every single frame. Uh, so and in, every time you make any change uh, between a point, um, it's going to have to. Uh, uh, buffer the frames uh, in the middle. Oop! Just saw something. 
Yep, I can see into his eye right there. As you can see, uh, everything between the first frame and the new frame now has to be rebuffered. Uh, that also means any changes that I made, um, uh, there's actual change in between this point. Like all the settings um, have now uh, been changed uh, from frame one. But it's actually an easy fix. Just take this, drag it, drop it over the first back and buffer better now a lot of the problems that you uh, see in this video with the halo and all this um, can be fixed by um, more lights shining on the back of your uh, your uh, actor okay um, and one of the questions that uh, was actually approached uh, to me um, was um, n not being able to export their video off of FX Home uh, with sound. Uh, this is true. Uh, FX Home is not really, it's not meant for sound. Uh, if you export uh, your video, it will come out just as video, pretty much. Um, uh, yeah, right here. Uh, your render settings uh, file type must match your audio source. Or uh, uh, do you want to continue rendering? No sound. Um, now, what I've always had to do. Um, when I've used FX Home is uh, just add in the sound later. Um, which I guess I could, I could just show you how I do that. Uh, it, it, it's kind of annoying to have to um, edit, uh, put in your sound later, uh, but you, you gotta understand uh, in big time um, movies that is actually how it's done. Uh, the video uh, is shot uh, on the cameras and the audio is taken separately. Uh, if you see any behind the scenes on any movies, there's normally a guy who has like the boom pole that has the, the big mic that hangs over the actors. Uh, he normally has like a, a, a bag uh, on one side. That is actually uh, what he records all the sound into. Uh, and then the sound is uh, put into the video later. So it's not really uh, something that uh, I really think is fair to complain about due to the fact that you know every movie maker has had to uh, every director every uh, uh, producer has 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 had to do that uh, in big time movies so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and render this and uh, it's only quick time so I'm just gonna have this as test one it's gonna render now the rendering is going to take a very, very, very long time. Um, what I'm probably going to do is end this uh, and then uh, bring it back up after it's done.